Because Patrick said it perfectly. You don't see that DOT9 placard on the majority of batters. We're seeing every other week a semi-truck either explode or catch on fire from DDR batteries. And I'll let Patrick explain about that here in a second. But we do see a DOT9 placard on energy storage systems specifically. So they do have a quantity and a capacity where they have to put a placard on the outside. But most shippers, they get below it. And that means that that normal yeah. semi truck is just a semi truck without hazmat and it could blow up on you. And my focus has really been on the end of life batteries or the DDR batteries, so damaged, effective, recalled batteries. You take end of life batteries, for example, uh, you get them from a recycling center. Is, and they're just they're taking like all it. these batteries, they're dumping them in a, in a barrel, right? And they don't really, I don't want to say they don't care, but they're just filling up these barrels. And the battery might have been in decent shape or okay shape when it went into that barrel. But now you've got all these battery cells that are at the bottom of the barrel and they're, they've got all the weight above them. They're bouncing around with the road vibration. And that's what's causing these failures. The hazmat guys, quite frankly, they have the best training out there. Everybody says so. Tremendous courses, fantastic trainers. Let's make hazmat training great again. 